Landmark marriage equality bill is sitting on President Biden's desk right now. The Respect for Marriage Act cleared the House earlier today. KPIX 5's Ann Makovic joins us now to explain what this bill does and doesn't do to protect same-sex and interracial marriage rights. Ann? Now, as this doesn't change any current laws, but it does offer protection if the Supreme Court were to decide to overturn the 2015 ruling that legalized same-sex marriage nationwide. The motion is adopted. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, they're signing the bill this morning. The push for this legislation rapidly gained momentum after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in June, nullifying the right to an abortion nationwide. And it became clear that nothing was off the table. It is a, a glorious day here in the House. Now the federal government will never stand in the way of anyone marrying the person you love. So the bill would require individual states to recognize another state's legal marriage, and it would afford all same-sex couples the many rights and benefits attached to marriage under federal law, including custody determinations and Social Security benefits. Now, the bill would not set a national requirement that all states must legalize same-sex marriage. It also does not require anyone to provide services for a wedding if it's against their religious beliefs. And it does not recognize polyamorous unions. We spoke with a local law professor today who said cases like this are a sign of the times with the makeup of the Supreme Court. Some potential litigants seeing an opportunity to bring cases to this very, very conservative Supreme Court, and then other political entities responding to those political moves. Now, an example, another case the Supreme Court is deciding on right now, a Colorado woman who refuses to design websites for same-sex weddings. That puts her at odds with an anti-discrimination law. The conservative justices appeared to view the case through the lens of free speech. When they heard arguments on Monday, we'll see what they decide. Meantime, that Marriage Act is still on President Biden's desk. And I'm sure we'll sign in the next few days. All right, Anne, thank you so much.